Good day ladies and gentlemen, this is Professor Ma. The current electronic road pricing system consists of gantries erected at roads prone to congestion, which use radio frequency identification, RFID, technology to automatically collect a fee from any vehicle passing under them during their operating hours. In 2016, the Land Transport Authority, LTA, announced that it had awarded a 556 million Singapore dollars contract to NCS and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries to build the next-generation electronic road pricing system, one which would have island-wide coverage and the ability to charge for distance traveled. The new system was to have been rolled out from 2020 onwards. On the 8th of September 2020, the LTA announced that the new system would only be rolled out in 2023, due to global shortages of computer chips. Furthermore, the initial plans for distance-based charging will be put on hold indefinitely. In the government budget debate for 2020, then-Deputy Prime Minister Heng Sui Keat had said that the technology for distance-based charging is still several years away. Therefore, it appears that the likely reason for not turning on the distance-based charging is that it is not yet operationally feasible. This sounds like a huge waste of taxpayers' money. Remember, the new system costs 556 million Singapore dollars in total, and there are a total of about 1 million vehicles in Singapore, which means that the Singapore government is spending approximately 556 Singapore dollars per vehicle to install the new system to collect ERP charges. Professor Ma has been driving since 2008 and my annual expenditure on ERP each year is less than $12. This means that it would take more than 45 years for the Singapore government to collect back the amount that it spends installing the ERP unit on my car. The current ERP vehicular unit only costs 150 Singapore dollars each. Hence the government could have saved more than 400 million Singapore dollars by just continuing to use the current system. So why would the government spend the 556 million Singapore dollars on the new system? Well, the contract was awarded to NCS, which is fully owned by Singtel. Singtel is controlled by Temasek which owns 55% of the shares, so one possible reason would be to help Temasek make money. In subsequent videos, Professor Ma will explain more aspects of life. In the meantime, please help by liking and by subscribing. Thank you.